So there's this debate going on whether you can make natural hydroxychloroquine at home. You can call it natural hydroxychloroquine, homemade, or you can call it quinine, or you can call it grapefruit and lemon peels cooked properly. Step one, you purchase three organic grapefruits and three organic lemons. Step two, you remove all the wax by soaking them in either baking soda or Bragg's organic apple cider vinegar. Shake the vinegar, pop the top off. Getting all the wax off. Using the same pot that I'm gonna to use to make the uh, concoction. So I just agitated and soaked these grapefruits and lemons in the apple cider vinegar for about four minutes, maybe five minutes. And now we're gonna add the alkaline water. So let's take a look. All right, we're getting them nice and clean. 8.5 pH. Not going to use a paper towel to wipe these off. Going to use a clean cloth. So now I'm filling it with alkaline water at 8.5 pH. Getting the important part, which is the bitter rind and skin, which has the quercetin and the bioflavonoids in it. Okay, here's where you can do a little bit of research on your own. You can type into your web browser, bitter lemon peel and quinine. And see what you come up with. Okay, everybody has their own way of getting the skin and the rind out. You want the bioflavonoids, you want the rind and the skin. This is what's important. All of this, and this, and this, and this. All right, I'll show you my technique. Watch how easy this tears. You just take this uh, grapefruit go. All right, this is around the time I start to heat up my alkaline water and about halfway done. So lemon's a little bit harder to get the uh, peel off, but I can still get it. So take a look. Ready? There it is. Once you get that broken, leave all that material and all that rind and skin and all the bioflavonoids, all the active compounds here, not here. Next thing I like to do is I like to cut these up into smaller pieces. I don't like them to be so big. The more you cut them, the more the hot boiling water can get to the material. Uh, hey, what are you doing? Hey. <laughs> I am Hello. making a homemade potion. Some call it hydroxychloroquine. Some call it quinine. And some call it what it is, which is just cut up organic grapefruit and lemon peels with the bioflavonoids and all of the active compounds that are bitter and better. 8.5 alkaline water. There it is. Got a close up of that. It really is kind of a potion. It is a potion and I took all the wax off with uh, organic uh, ACV. You mean the wax on the fruit? Yep. Now, here's an important part. Come here, let me show you this. Am I going to use a top that has a, a leak or air hole? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to use one that has no air hole and no way for the air to come out of the pot? No air hole. Why? Because you don't want any of the nutrients to come out. Bingo. So, that is exactly correct. I will not use anything that lets, you can smell it, come on, mm -hmm. smell it. That lets anything escape. What's that smell like? Citrus. Bitter citrus. Most people just throw that away. Yep, we always throw away the good stuff. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this cook for about, I'd say, five minutes. Really mm -hmm. heat it up. I'm gonna stir it a few times, okay? okay? Then I'm gonna bring it down to a simmer, and I'm gonna simmer it for four hours. Then I'm gonna shut it off, 
I'm gonna let it cool, and then I'm gonna strain it and bring it into a, a, a clean glass jar. All right, this is what my simmer looks like. All right, so we've simmered for four hours, and we cooled down. Now I'm cleaning my mason jars with this acidic water, strong acidic water. I usually just, I don't strain it. I just use my hands. Um, but you see how dark this is? It's extremely bitter. Here we go. Let's take this, get that last little bit of juice out. A couple of tablespoons worth, actually more. It's pretty saturated. Two and a half mason jars full of this tonic. Now, people are arguing about whether this is hydroxychloroquine or quinine or just a home remedy with lemon and grapefruit peels. It's not hydroxychloroquine. So hydroxychloroquine is made in a laboratory. It's synthetic, it has chemicals, certain active uh, compounds and chemicals in it that's only in hydroxychloroquine. So you have a lot of stuff on the internet. Now, does it have similarities? Yes. Does it have quinine uh, from the peel of the lemon and the grapefruit? Yes. Does it have additional compounds that hydroxychloroquine does not have? Yes. Which is better? Who knows? I know which one's more natural. And that's the one that's here on my kitchen counter. So we don't need to engage in a debate whether it's a drug or not, because it's not a drug, it's not synthetic. But is it effective? Yes, absolutely. Now let's take a look. If you want to just drink it plain like that, that's fine. It's pretty bitter. If you want to add a little bit of sweetener to it, then use try to use monk fruit or coconut sugar. But I love monk fruit if I'm going to try to sweeten anything that's this bitter. Um, and then if you want to really spike it, there's three ways to do that. Let's take a look. All right. I'll spike it with D3 and K2. And I'll spike it with three full droppers, which is 30 drops. So that's 30 drops, 60, 90. And there's one. Put my lid on. Shake it up. And I put it in the fridge. Number two. Zinc, NAC, and quercetin. One. Not going to get into a bunch of claims. You can do the research on your own. If you research this, you'll know exactly why I'm doing it. I'll say it again. Zinc, quercetin, and NAC, N-acetylcysteine. There's two. Zinc, like Dora the Explorer. Zinc, quercetin, and N-acetylcysteine. There's three. I take my lid. Let's take a look at this just so you can see it. All right. Yeah, we don't need to make a bunch of claims. You just do some research on this. One of the things you'll find interesting is that zinc needs quercetin um, to be metabolized fully or best. Um, some really good research on that. And so I always take quercetin with my zinc when I take zinc. So that's why we put quercetin, zinc, and NAC in the same formula. There you go. So now I got two and I'll label them. I'll just put D3K2, NAC, Q, and Z. Let me see. First one. I have a half a jar left and I'll put colloidal silver or I use vitalized silver, but you can use whatever you want. And I'll put three dropper folds in this. Uno, dos, tres.
and your family and your loved ones and your friends and your immune system and your bloodstream and the 60 trillion cells that make up your body, well, thank you. I guarantee you that.